Okay, so this is just a little quick demo of how to do the batch file renaming. Um, so remember, the goal is we need to prepare our files for the forced aligner. And what the forced aligner expects is two things. First, it expects pairs of sound files and the corresponding transcription file, which is just a plain text file. Um, just looks like this, right? So this is opening it in text edit. All it says is 15 degree incline. That's it. All right, so um, the problem is, though, in order to recognize that um, a sound file and the text file is uh, paired together, uh, uh, the force aligner expects them to have the same base file name. So in other words, we need to rename 7.txt to be africus204128, etc., etc., sort of the etc., hyphen 7.txt. And the second thing we need to do is the force aligner expects um, the file extension not to be txt, but lab, so we need to change that as well. So uh, what I've recommended is that you download this little application, Massive File Renamer. Um, it has cross-platform versions. Um, I'm going to demonstrate the Mac version for now, but uh, Windows users, uh, I'll give you a little tip at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. Uh, it appears here. I'm going to open it, and then I have the installer file up here. here. I double-click on it, and many of you might see this. It complains. It's blah, 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 security preferences. It doesn't want you to open this because it could be a bad file. Um, so at least the way I can get around that is if I right-click and then do open, and then it allows me to open it if I want. So I'm going to open it and run the installer, blah, 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 finish. And so now if you look in the applications, there's this massive file renamer. And to open it, you need to double click on this jar file. That is a file that is opened by Java. Um, OK, so now what do we do? Um, we can go to open, and let's go find our files, which are here, and let's start with um, let's start with uh, just opening the text files. So I can just select those and open them, and I'm going to say open, and they appear here. Notice it doesn't show the file extension, so I'm going to click on this, and then the first thing I'm going to do is say let's change .txt to .lab. And it shows me this is what it is currently. This is what it'll change it to. And I'll hit replace. And now if I go back to the finder window, you can see they have been changed to .lab. Um, now the other thing I need to do is add this prefix in. So I'm going to just grab this from here up to the hyphen and do a um, command C. Or for PC users, it would be like, um, control C, copy it over, and now if I just put nothing in there, it uh, assumes I want to add a prefix. So now if I add in this prefix, you can see it's going to um, prepend 7.lab with the prefix and so forth. So if I hit replace, and then I go back to our finder window, you can see that it's added the prefixes as desired. So that's really it, all you need to do. Um, let me also show Windows folks something. Uh, so Windows. Windows, you would, of course, download the Windows version. The only tricky bit is um, generally Mac, uh, Mac uh, OS X already has Java, so you probably don't have to worry about this. But at least for my version of Windows, I did not have Java. So I had to click on this and first download Java. And um, yeah, so if you do that, and then you uh, go and go find wherever Java went, it should be like JXP install. And if you double click on it, then you can install Java. And it is thinking and thinking and still thinking. Aha, here it is. And you just say blah, 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 install. Now, the only tricky thing here that's kind of annoying if it shows up eventually. Oh, here we is. Okay. 
I think ya Yahoo, like, I don't know, bought Java or something. So you can ignore this part. You don't need to start your, uh, you know, Internet Explorer with Yahoo. So just, you know, say do not update browser settings. Um, and then you go on and install Java, blah, blah, blah. And then if you've done that, and then you go back to the massive file renamer and you download, download it and install it should be straightforward and fine. And then at least for me, what happens is you get this little shortcut on your desktop. You double click on it and, and, um, ah, what is it doing? Okay, and it should show up. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's because I'm installing Java right now. So, all right, let's just hold on one second and let it finish installing Java. All right, come on. Okay, I think that means Java has been installed. Um, so, you know, you can cho click on, you can see if it's verify if it's working, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I can now open this massive file renamer. It might be because I already had it open. Oh, there we go. There we go. And you can see it's just like the interface we saw um, for the Mac. So you're good to go. All right. Have fun.